are getting uh, this fungal meningitis have had epidural anesthesia, meaning they had a small needle put into their back around their spinal cord and had anesthesia that way. We begin tonight with a very important health alert. Texas health officials are urging anyone who has traveled to Mexico for plastic surgery to get checked by a doctor. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. So far, 18 Texans have been infected with fungal meningitis, and each case traces back to procedures done in Matamoros. The fungal infection has claimed the lives of three people now, including that of a Vider woman. Last month, we spoke with Garrett Robinson. His wife, Lauren, was hospitalized in Galveston. She was being treated for fungal meningitis. Robinson told us she suffered multiple strokes and died just days later. According to MedicalTourismMex.com, 1.2 million Americans visit Mexico every year for medical procedures. People often save anywhere from 35 to 85 percent on their surgery expenses. Dr. Jennifer Shuford with the Texas Department of State Health Services shared what symptoms you should watch for. The symptoms can start slowly, um, but then they'll start to experience things like headache and fever and a stiff neck. The evaluation that's recommended is getting imaging of the brain, so an MRI, um, as well as evaluation of their spinal fluid um, through a lumbar puncture. These cases are all linked to two clinics in Matamoros, Riverside Medical Center and Clinica K3. Dr. Shuford says the clinics have given state officials a list of the patients they treated. However, she suspects there may be more. 